Hey guys, welcome to week 181 of the Super Mario World ROM Hack Races. Today's level is Arenal by Surge. It's rated 5 out of 10 for difficulty, and it's the only published level from Surge that I could find. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. It's been a long road, but you finally reached Mount Arenal, the fiery volcano that no man has ever tamed. Climb to its peak and make history once and for all. This level has wall jumping and double jumps. You can switch to a regular or spin jump freely on your second jump, including while carrying items. Wall jumping is infinite, but will consume the extra jump charge. So you can see the number that's above Mario's head. That's telling me how many mid-air jumps I have left. It only resets whenever I touch the ground. I honestly don't know if I've ever seen double jumps combined with wall jumps before. And I guess it's fair for the wall jumps to take away my, my double jump. That blue Koopa who's over on the right, he's not really necessary to use to beat the level. He just makes the setup for getting the spring where it belongs just a little bit easier. I end up using him a little bit early there. I'm still able to drop the spring inside that wall and take just a real quick look at what's up top there. I really just waste the shell that's in my hand. I didn't realize that other one was coming over to let me jump off of it. Just a double jump first and then a shell jump to get that second shell. The timing on it was really awkward. I had to stand there and wait for that Koopa to kick the shell before I could use it. And this is set up for you to do just a quick max height jump over to the right, and use the double jump as a spin to get to the ball and chain. As soon as we get up to where I can see this shell, Everything just kind of goes out the window because there's a lot of options that are available to you. Shell jumping off the on off switches is not one of the options that will work. And this I would have had, but I just barely walked off the edge of that flying platform and wound up eating my double jump way earlier than I expected. I learned that just a little bit too late. You must save your double jump here in order to reach this blue Koopa. It's kind of a scary looking jump to just go straight over that death block, but wall jumping will take away your double jump. Uh, towards the end here, I got pretty proficient at doing this part down at the bottom. I still use that blue Koopa, but it's just a little bit easier to use him. And this part with the spring I have down to a science. Let's get up top, throw it up, and jump to it. And at this point, I'm kind of desperate for a midway. So I'm trying to just to play this part as safely as I possibly can. I know I've got some ground there that I can fall back down to if I need to. And I'm being careful not to move on without keeping access to my double jump. I can't tell how much I really need the double jump, but I didn't want to put myself in a position where I needed it and didn't have it. Coming through the store, I'm expecting a midway, and instead, it's just an orb, and I've now beaten the level. Now when they rate the ROM hack, they give a separate score for how long the level is going to be, and this one was low, but that first section I thought was going to be leading into a midway and have more level for me to play afterwards. My time for this race was 52 minutes and 59 seconds. That put me in fourth place out of 11 racers who finished. Uh, this was kind of a tough level for me to execute on, and I'm really just relieved that it ended when it did. I got lucky to get through that last section my first time seeing it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'm going to keep putting out these videos showing my part of every week's ROM hack race. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more here on YouTube. You can also find me on Twitch and TikTok. My links are down in the description. It's over!